What's going on everyone, I'm Alex and today I'm taking a look at a new TV box. This is called the Billing Mini MX uh, TV box. So this uh, box has the Amlogic S905 inside. So that's a really good processor and that's why I'm uh, really excited about it. I got this from Gearbest.com for about 45 bucks. I do believe it's on sale as I'm making this video but uh, that sale may go away after the Black Friday. Alright, so let's take a look at the box first. This is uh, the box that uh, it comes in. On the front here we just see Mini MX uh, 4K movies. Uh, for some reason I don't see the brand billing uh, absolutely anywhere on the box. This is what uh, we have on the side of the box here, so we can uh, see the processor right here. And the other information uh, about the box. It does come pre-installed with Kodi and uh, we do have Kodi on uh, that side of the box. Uh, we get some more information about uh, the box itself, so 1 gig of RAM, 8 gigs of internal uh, storage and Bluetooth 4.0, so that's great for like having a mouse or something like that. Uh, we just get uh, the QR uh, code right there uh, that says YouTube, I'm not even sure what that is. And on the back of the box here, uh, we just have some more information about... Uh, the box itself so we do know that it's coming uh, pre-installed Android 5.1 and uh, a whole bunch of other uh, information here all right uh, let's go ahead and uh, open the box so this is the box uh, itself it looks like uh, the old uh, B-Link X2 if I remember correctly I had one of those uh, a couple of months ago so we'll leave that aside uh, for a bit and uh, let's see what else we have in the box. So the remote is uh, now changed from uh, the old one. Uh, hopefully this one uh, works uh, better. So you just have a power button, a home and uh, like the mouse here but we don't have any numbers and uh, stuff like that. I'm just wondering what battery it's using. So it's uh, using two AAA batteries. Okay, we'll leave that aside. This is the charger and uh, make sure that you ask for an adapter for North America because this is like uh, the European uh, charger however I do have an adapter somewhere here so uh, that's not gonna be a problem and we also get the uh, HDMI cable which is uh, pretty good considering the box only costs like 45 bucks alright so um, we have a manual here so we can see what's uh, on the back of the box, on the right uh, hand side of the box. It does show us uh, some basic uh, operations uh, right there at the bottom. And uh, some more uh, basic uh, operations on the back here. So at least uh, this is uh, all in English. So let's uh, leave this aside for now. Alright, so uh, this is the box uh, itself. It's made out of plastic. The back here is like rubberized... Uh, material uh, we just get the serial number uh, right here at the back it does take uh, SD cards uh, as you can see this is a USB port on the back here we just have the optical audio this is where the network cable would go the HDMI cable and the second uh, USB and this is the charging uh, or the power uh, port on the front of the box we just have an LED right here that I imagine it's going to be the same like the B-Link uh, X2. So it turns on blue, it's off, it's red. Alright, so uh, now that we took uh, a look at the box, uh, I'm going to go and uh, plug it into the TV and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so I have the box to plug into the TV, I'm going to turn it on. I have the remote uh, right here, I have batteries inside. So this is like the boot up uh, animation. Welcome, hi, and uh, it says Mini MX, again I haven't seen the billing brand uh, anywhere yet, and we'll see how long uh, it takes for uh, this to start up. My, uh, my only issue with this box is the 1 gig of RAM, I mean I wish to have had 2, like you're not gonna have any problems running videos and stuff with 1 gig, but 2 would have been uh, better. And this uh, looks identical like my uh, other TV box that I have, the MXG something. Alright, so uh, let's take a look at the settings uh, here for a bit. So we have uh, the network here, display, let's see what uh, information we have about the display. 
so the resolution here it's at 1080p if we go into storage and reset we're gonna see how much uh, space there is available storage total space 8 gigs but um, doesn't exactly so available we have 4.3 gigs uh, left so right here so out of the 8 gigs uh, of internal storage only have about four and a half uh, left and if we go into about so it's called the uh, mini mx and the version of uh, the android that uh, this box is running is android 5.1.1 all right so let's go back I'll uh, quickly show you what languages it has just in case uh, you're wondering. So you can see the languages on the right there. I'm gonna scroll through all of them. So quite a few languages uh, as you can see. And it keeps going. Alright, so that's it for the languages. We do have the remote right here. I wonder what... Uh, on off okay we don't want to turn the remote off we have the bluetooth right here and that's about it for uh, the settings app so if we go into local here we just uh, see what's uh, on the box like gallery i imagine there are no pictures and there are no pictures movie player and what else do we have here we do have the play store so basically you can install uh, anything you want this i imagine it's a browser yeah, and it is a browser, but I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi at the moment. This is probably oh, any plugins and stuff like that. Kodi Mate. Okay, so this has to do with the uh, Kodi, and this is uh, Kodi itself. It's uh, running that uh, version that you can see right there. But again, I'm not connected to the internet, so you're not going to see too much. But... Uh, we do see that it uh, comes pre-installed with the code and that's uh, pretty awesome. Okay, so we'll just exit uh, all these. And I'm just wondering what's, uh, what's here. Welcome to app for tv However, uh, it's not connected to the internet, so I won't be able to, to use that. And if we go into my apps here, we just have uh, whatever apps are uh, installed uh, on it and the uh, other thing that I want to show you so um, if we press this button right here this should become a mouse and I'm looking to see if I actually see it anywhere okay so it does uh, does seem to work okay with the other remotes uh, that these boxes used to come uh, it was a bit difficult to get uh, this working but uh, this seems to work uh, quite good all right back so um this is the box i will do a review video i will do a antutu score uh, on this uh, as well for now it does look uh, pretty good and uh, for the price like 45 bucks it is a pretty awesome box all right guys thanks for uh, watching and don't forget to subscribe